Hey guys. So I didn't know what to call today's video because I had multiple things that I wanted to talk to you about all over the place. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, who's ready for fall makeup? The temperatures have been unseasonal lately. Today is September 6th. It is technically still summer, but it is 60 degrees outside. I have some errands that I need to run and I'm going to have to wear a jacket, I think, 60 degrees. Yeah, it's, it's too soon, too soon. I'm noticing, uh, you know, squirrels running around gathering food and none of the trees have started changing yet where I am in Massachusetts, but I have a feeling it's just around the corner, which is strange because we just um, have been having Hurricane Dorian coming up the coast and then once it gets near New England it's going to go out to sea but this is like the beginning of hurricane season I feel like so I mean I know technically it's not really the beginning of hurricane season but traditionally in New England if we get a hurricane it's usually in September or October so it's way too soon for these cool temperatures but what's happened is because of this it's put me in fall mode. I've been pulling out my red lipsticks and um, I've accumulated a lot of red uh, summer shirts though lately and I'm not deliberately seeking out red shirts. It's just like my Wonder Woman shirt. I bought it because it said Wonder Woman had the picture of Wonder Woman on the front and then my Chilling Adventures of Sabrina shirt had the front of one of the comic books on it and it just happened to be red and um, this shirt was given to me by somebody and it happened to be red so I've acquired three red shirts in like the last month and not because I was choosing red but this is good in a way because now I've been wearing my red lipsticks and I hadn't been wearing them and when I think of red lipsticks I think of fall and winter or so I'm ready. Speaking of red lipsticks, um, the two that I've been wearing a lot lately are, um, oh, I grabbed the wrong one. Okay, the two that I've been wearing a lot lately are MAC Ruby Woo and MAC Russian Red. I have Russian Red on today and I had on Ruby Woo, I think two videos ago. And um, it's funny because one of you had asked me, how come you never wear MAC products anymore? And I responded, oh, well, I have a lot of MAC lipsticks, but I just haven't been wearing them lately. All of a sudden, I'm wearing my lap, lap MAC lipsticks lately. This happens to me every September. Every September, I pull out the MAC lipsticks and wear them all the time. And then my birthday comes at the end of the month sort of the end of the month, like three quarters of the way through. And um, I end up getting some MAC lipsticks for my birthday every year. I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, yeah, the two lipsticks that I've been wearing all the time for red lipsticks are MAC Ruby Woo and MAC Russian Red. And I wanted to show you the difference because they are quite similar, but... Um, it's enough of a difference that I like to have both. Okay, so the one I have on is Russian Red. And this is a matte formula. So that's Russian Red. It's like a very rich, deep, blue tone or cool toned red. And then Ruby Woo is a retro matte, which is um, just a different type of matte formula. I would say it's drier than the original formula matte. So that's Ruby Woo. That's Russian Red. So see, this one is deeper. This one is like brighter. But they're both cool tone, they're both blue tone, and I don't know, I just, I like to have both of them. It That way, you know, you can get a variation of 
reds, all reds are not created equal, so I like to try to match it as best as I can to my red shirt. If I'm wearing a red shirt, you don't have to obviously match your lipstick to your shirt. But for some reason when I wear a red shirt, I like to wear a red lipstick. I don't know. So that is that. And today I have on my Believe Beauty So Chic lip liner with the Russian red. But I have I have a few um, liners and usually I just, you know, grab the one that looks the closest to the lipstick that I'm wearing. There's no... Um, no method to it or anything like that. Okay, so speaking of fall, yesterday I bought the most fall lipstick of all, in my opinion. And I don't normally buy high-end lipsticks, and here I am talking about MAC, and now I'm going to talk about another high-end lipstick. But I used to buy this like every September, at the beginning of September or the end of August, and I didn't do it last year. So I went that whole yearly cycle without owning this lipstick and I really missed it. It may have even been longer ago than that. It may have been two years since I've had it. But to me, this is just like the epitome of fall. What am I talking about? Clinique Black Honey. Now, if you've ever seen this in a store uh, but never owned it or swatched it, and looked at the color and went, ew, no, that's, I, I don't want that. Swatch the tester, because this does not go on the way it appears in the tube. This is a sheer formula, and it's a really moisturizing formula. It's like a lip balm. It's like a tinted lip balm, but the color is um, buildable. So you can put on a little bit and get a little bit of a hint of color, or you can build it up and just keep putting it on and um, get more of a deeper shade. And it also will look different, of course, depending on what your lip color is. So if you've never tried this, I love this because this is the one lipstick that um, you can customize it more than you can a traditional lipstick. And it's Clinique, so it's like all healthy ingredients, you know, no bad stuff in Clinique makeup. Uh, it's kind of pricey. It's um, $19.50, so it's almost 20 bucks. And then with the tax, of course, it is going to be over 20 But see what I mean? P people look at this and go, ooh, no, I don't like those colors. I don't like those dark purple lipsticks. Those are not pretty. This one is. Let me Let me show you. Okay, so, see, that's, that's one pass. Barely noticeable, right? That's two passes. Now, keep in mind, this is going to go on over your lip color. So, it's not going to look like this on your lips. It's going to look totally different. So, let me try to build it up on my hand. But even built up on my hand, yeah, this is not at all what it looks like on my lips. So I'll wear it in a video soon. Well, today's Friday, so sometime uh, next week I'll wear it in a video so that you can see what it looks like on. But this is the quintessential berry plum type of lipstick color. It's so, so pretty, and I really, really like it, and I have missed this like crazy. If you're not somebody that wears a lot of these kind of colors, um, this is like the one. If you're just going to have one, this is what I would recommend, because I don't own a lot of these types of colors either. I actually don't even have anything right now that is this color in my collection, so really missed that and wanted to get it. Uh, speaking of fall makeup, this makeup, aside from the lips, the eyes, looks very fallish to me. And, of course, I used the Lamora Exposed Nudes Palette like I do all the time. This ended up being such a good buy. Today I used the shade Wish right here on my lids. And then... 
in the crease and outer corners, I used this, which is not available anymore, but there's a reason why I'm bringing this up. Uh, this is the Academy of Color Nudes palette. And I used this shade right here in the crease and outer corners. Okay, now the reason why I'm bringing this up, this particular brand, is I talked about this, I don't know, a couple months ago, but I have not seen this brand at Kohl's anymore. Kohl's is the only place I've ever seen this brand. And it's a UK-based brand, I believe. Yes. It says um, Newtsford, Cheshire, United Kingdom. Anyway, um, Kohl's is the only place I've ever seen this brand. I have tons of eyeshadow palettes from this brand. Don't talk about it a lot because I haven't seen it at Kohl's in a really long time. When on the company's website, like the parent company of this company, and there was, might as well have not even been a website there because there was almost nothing on the website. So I thought, oh, okay, you know, the company must have gone out of business, but I love their eyeshadows. So I don't know what made me think to do it, probably because I haven't been to Kohl's in a long time. But I went on the Kohl's website and there's an eyeshadow palette by Academy of Color on there. And it's probably been on there for a while because it has some kind of a back to school theme to it. And it's only $5 and it's six eyeshadows. And this would be like the ultimate travel palette because it's six really practical shades and you could like mix and match and do different kinds of looks depending on which ones you put together. But uh, let me insert a picture of it so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so if that went by too quickly for you, you can pause it at that part of the video if you want to get a better look at it, or you can just go to the Kohl's website and take a look at it. It's the only Academy of Color eyeshadow palette that is on their website right now. The only thing that puzzles me is why did they put two gold shimmery shades in there? Because they're not even that different from each other. They're very similar. Um, they're both like mid-tone shimmery gold shades. So uh, that seems like such a waste because that sixth shade uh, could have been something different. But that looks like a great everyday palette or a travel palette or... I'm going to go to Kohl's as soon as I can and pick that up. It's five bucks. And the texture of their eyeshadows, I just, I love them. And the balance between shimmers and mattes in that palette is perfect because you've got a cool toned matte and a warm toned matte. And then you've got four shimmery shades that you can put, you know, with whichever uh, tone the others are with those matte eyeshadows. So really good news on the Academy of Color front. And I think somebody asked me one time if I've ever tried their lip products because you'll occasionally find lip products at Kohl's too by them. And I have to say that I'm not really a fan of the lip products, but everybody likes different things, right? Okay, and the last thing that I want to talk to you about is... Um, I you subscribe to Emily Noel. Her most recent video, she did this thing where people left comments on her social media and then she read the comment, show, even showed a picture of it so that you could see the person that left the comments um, social media name. And then she talked about their comment. Well, one of the comments on there, it was by, um, it was by Nikki, N-I-K-K-I, 10458. Yeah, that's it. I followed this person on Twitter because I was like blown away when I tried it myself. She said that instead of doing contour, blush, highlight in that order, she does it the opposite. 
I tried it today. Oh my God, you guys, you have to try this. Whenever I would normally do contour blush highlight, when I got to the highlight part, I could never seem to get it uh, blended or even the placement like I wanted. It, it would always be kind of fickle and I would always have to try and like fix it and wipe away certain sections or or blend it more or it just never seemed to go on right and I found myself not wearing highlight at all which is a sin because I have more highlights than you can imagine. I think I have aside from um, eyeshadows and lipsticks I have the third most category would be highlights. So it's a shame to not use them. I've got a ton of them. So anyways, I tried it today and oh my God, you guys, you got to try it in the opposite order of what you normally do it because that's what I did today. So it it's the same products that I would normally use, but see what I mean about how blended it is and the highlight placement is dead on. It's exactly where I want it and blended into the blush perfectly. And I didn't do anything different about the application or the blending. I just, I started with the highlight, putting it on the way I normally would, then put the blush on and then did the contour. And I love it. Oh my God, you guys. I, I know it's silly to be so excited about something, but it makes such a difference. So this, this person, this Nikki blah, blah, blah with the numbers. Um, I followed her on Twitter because, you know, I'm just dying to see if she posts something else on her Twitter. It doesn't look like she has a YouTube or anything, which is a shame, um, or even an Instagram. But yeah, that's, it's such an, a silly, simple thing, but it works so well. So try it and um, see what you think. Because for me, it it worked great. I think what's going to end up happening though is I'm so used to doing it the other way that it's going to take some time for me to remember to do it in the opposite order, but yeah. So that's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. There was lots of different kinds of information in this video and that's why I had to call it what I did because I had no idea what else to call it. So have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Subscribe please. <laughs>